Hi, good morning everyone. In the last video we talked about what are the do's and what are the don'ts for the IELTS speaking part 1. So I think this is the time to move on for the IELTS speaking part 2. So in this video we are going to discuss about IELTS speaking part 2 which is called cue card or which is called long term discussion. Please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video. Well, this is the part which is considered as the principal part of our speaking and the most difficult part for most of the beginner students. So what is the reason that they find it difficult? As I told you, please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video last some videos that you will be given a question and then you will be given only one minute to prepare our question after that you have to speak up for two minutes on your topic well i could understand that it's very difficult to organize all your ideas all your vocab and to put your grammar in a mannerly way and the most difficult thing to represent it in front of someone who is stranger for you in just a minute it is seriously difficult thing well uh, everything has a solution so i have a trick i have a technique for you which you can apply in your cue card part in your part two of speaking and boost your score this is the technique which i also recommend to most of the students and i also applied it but the first thing i want to recommend you to practice a lot because if you have not practiced a lot about speaking and you are just talking to some random person and you are confident that you are going to be good at speaking then i don't think that you will be perfect at you can give your best at speaking test if you want to give your best then you have to practice a lot because i know many students those who are confident about their speaking and they even had practiced a lot before their speaking test but they feel nervous, they feel shy at their speaking test and they couldn't do well at their speaking test. So that's why I want to recommend you to practice because practice matters. Alright, so in this video, as I told you, we are going to discuss about the trick or the technique which we should apply for the cue card or for the part 2. The trick is uh, about organization because this is the question to organize to organize your part two in just a minute so uh, we should have a plan so the plan is about to divide to divide your cue card into three parts well you can divide your cue card into three parts these three parts should be past present and future but be careful be carefully listen to me and then be carefully apply it the first thing you have to do in the cue card you can describe something about the main topic of your cue card and then after that you can apply this technique to divide it in your past present and future right so it will make you easier to cover your time as well and it would not give you much uh, time to be confused or to be nervous right so listen to me carefully in this video because i'm going to uh, tell you that how we can apply it carefully and a well-mannered in this video i'm going to give you example by talking on a topic but or by giving speaking on a topic and this topic is going to be about a person who is talkative so i'm going to talk about a person who is talkative the, and the sub point please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video which would be given to you as well for your help and this is called a sub point it could be like uh, who is the person and how do you know him and what do you like the most about him right so this is my today's topic for speaking i'm going to talk about it so listen to me carefully that how i'm going to apply it and you should apply you should do the same with your speaking right so my time starts now talkative person learn easily how to express their self and they learn easily how to be a strong communicator and i believe that communication is the skill which is essentially needed in every aspect of life 
I was a shy person and I was not able to express myself in front of others till the day I didn't met my neighbor and in this test I'm going to talk about uh, my friend or my neighbor who is chatterbox in my life well by spending a quality of time with him I came to know that there are many qualities which are needed and which are essential and those are having with a talkative person the first quality i like most about him is that being a gossipy person it will be easier for you to explain anything to anyone in such a manner to make him see from an another point for example if i got some problem then i go to my neighbor and talk to him then he gave me explanation in such a manner that i feel like that i was looking at my problem from a different aspect and he gave me the different viewpoint different solution and the perfect solution to look at my problem the second thing which is mostly liked by the people is that that he didn't afraid to ask anything to anyone he can ask question he can answer question it doesn't matter if he is talking to a stranger and the very interesting thing about him he love to uh, share his experience with others and i believe that this is the quality which make him extraordinary person as well this is the quality which makes him mature as compared to the others and the third quality is to uh, talk about the rights to uh, pay the responsibility of a social person by paying the responsibility of a perfect citizen he ever stand up for the rights of others and for the rights of his own as well and he also make me learn that how to speak up in the public for your own right so this is the qualities which i got from him uh well however if you have a, a talkative person or talkative friend in your life then it would be difficult for you because sometimes you can be in trouble with him well i hope that he would go to well in his life in his future as he want to become a lawyer uh, i believe that he would be a perfect lawyer because he is as much logistic person so it will be easier for him to get his to achieve his goal to achieve his aim so this it was my topic for today's video please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the next video well uh, did you see that uh, how i uh, talk at first the definition i give the definition that who is the talkative person and then i talk about the past that how was Uh, how I was in my past, and then I talk about present. That what are the qualities I like about him, and then I just give two lines about his future, right? So uh, it all helped me to cover the ideas, and I all this I present all this in as well may in a smooth way. So you can also apply this trick for your speaking. I hope you will find it good. However, if you feel any difficulty, if you find any question for me, you can email me or you can try in my online classes if you want to. Uh, for having your personal question, you can email me. I will give my link in the description. Or if you want any topic uh, to prepare me for a speaking, or you want any trick, you can tell me in the comment box. Stay safe. stay home at this difficult time this is the time you need to be safe you need to save your families as well so thank you like my video comment my video and share my video see you in the next session